back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who are not new, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys coming back. So today's video is a requested video. With that being said, if you guys have any requests, please leave them down below. I may not get to them right away, but I definitely try to plan videos around your guys' requests. I want to film and the whole reason why I film is to do this for you guys. So please leave your requests down below. But before I get into the video, I wanna quickly show you guys my outfit. It's brand new, so I can link it. And dare I say, I freaking love it. So it's hardly ever that I buy an outfit brand new, didn't try it on in store, I just ordered it online and I love it. But this is definitely a me outfit and I had a feeling I would love it. So I wanna share with you guys. So I just have on this band tee here. I got it from Abercrombie. Again, I will link it down below. And then I tied it up on the side. And then in the back, it says something. I can't remember what it says. And then I have on these jeans. These are the Abercrombie skinny jeans. I wear mine in a size six. I will say that these ones, I don't know what it is about dark wash or black jeans. They seem to fit a little bit more snug than regular jeans. These ones were pretty snug on me. Um, I can button them just fine and whatnot. I just had to suck in a little bit. And now I feel like they look great. So I will lift my shirt just so you guys can see this little lacy detail is actually my underwear. I um, have these lacy underwear from Victoria's Secrets that I like to wear when I have something that might show my belly a little bit. So here they are from the back. So I am loving these. I will pop up a picture on the screen for you guys so you can see the length. I don't have the camera angled down so you guys can see the length, but I love these and I have a feeling that you guys will love them too. Okay, so what is today's video about? Today's video is on my non-luxury handbags. So my contemporary handbags and my non-designer handbags so in no particular order i don't have a ton to share with you just a few i've gotten rid of a lot lately and i do have a couple that i am willing to sell if you're interested in them so if you guys are interested in seeing that then please just keep right. on so first up and honestly the bag that got me in love with handbags i will pop a picture of me wearing this bag so i fell in love with this bag when i had let me backtrack I had five kids in a row. So in 2010, 2011, 2012, I skipped 2013 and then 2014 and then 2015, five kids. And I always carried a diaper bag. Once my kids got out of the ages where I no longer had to carry a diaper bag, I started carrying this little beauty here. So this is just a bag that I think I got it on clearance for like 13 bucks or 11 bucks or something like that but I fell in love with it and that's what started my handbag collection. So here we have her, she's just from Kohl's, black circle bag, I still love this bag, maybe I'll wear it today. And then it's got a pocket here, a pocket in the back, top handle, and then a bigger pocket here, and then a slim pocket in here. I do have several face masks and all sorts of little things in here because I do love this bag. And it is adjustable. And I just love it. It's the perfect size. I don't necessarily love the top handles poking me, but with a pair of jeans and an outfit like I'm wearing today, I just think that it is so, so cute. And I love this bag. It's probably my favorite non-designer bag. And even my favorite out of my contemporary designers and my non-designer bags, this one is my favorite. And if they made a bag like this in the luxury brand, I would buy it. So if you guys know of any brand that has a bag like this, other than the YSL Circle bag, because that one's too small, but a decent size for reference, covers up my head. So a big round circle bag that's plain and simple like this in a designer brand, let me know because I would totally be interested and I have been on the hunt for it, but no okay, so luck. Next up, this is a bag that I thought I was going to love because of another bag that I will show you here in a second. I love backpack bags, especially when I'm doing stuff, fun stuff with my kids. And my other backpack bag is just one big open pouch and I have a hard time finding stuff in it. So I love the fact that this one here, it's my, by Michael Kors. If I can find any of these bags, I will definitely link them down below, but I've had quite pretty much all of these for years. So 
I might not be able to find it, but I believe this one still is being sold. So this one here has lots of compartments. So it's got a compartment in the back with a zip pocket back here. Then it's got a big center pocket here, right there. And then it's got another smaller pocket in the front with a little slip pocket and little compartments there. Um, so I thought that I was going to love this bag, but I don't. And the reason why is because of the compartments. I don't know what it is about these compartments, but it makes it really difficult for me to find and get into. And with backpack bags, I love them for their ease of use. And this one is just not easy to use. It does have, or at least not for me, it does have adjustable straps here and a top handle. And I think it's absolutely stunning of a bag. You can wear it just on your shoulder like so. Or you can put it on both shoulders. This is the bag that I like to use when I take my kids to like Jump Street or music mint parks or if we're going to just a regular park and I need to carry a lot of water. Um, we do have several parks around us, so we just walk there. So this is a bag that I'm willing to let go of. I will let go of it for a very reasonable price and then you can just pay for shipping. Um, but if you're interested in this one, let me know. It's a great bag. I've used it maybe just a couple of times. Um, I just prefer another one of my bags that I will show you right now. Okay, so next up, another Michael Kors. And this is actually why I bought the other bag because I loved this Michael Kors backpack so much. It has a little lock right here, says Michael Kors right there, has a top handle, and then you flip it open and it's just a big, huge open pocket. It is leather lined on the inside, it has a slip pocket back here and a slip pocket right here. Um, and I thought that I wasn't going to, or not that I wasn't going to, when I use this bag, everything just piles up down in the bottom. So I didn't like that at first, but after getting the other one and realizing this is just easiest for me when I'm out and about, I also don't like the fact that it doesn't have a zip pocket here, like you can't close it. So if anything falls out the corners, anything small can fall out of the corners when you have it buttoned up. It is an adjustable strap again, and then it has a back pocket back here. I don't know why I like this one more and it's easier for me to use. When I'm thinking about it, when I have everything written on paper, that one seems to be better, but I don't know. There's something about this one that I love. My husband did buy this one for me and he actually bought the other one for me too. This is when I was first getting into bags and I was having a hard time spending money on bags. Look how far we've come. Cause wow, girl, you spend a lot of money on bags. But here it is on. I also love the fact that it's so flat and it doesn't stick out very far. So I do love this bag and again, I use it for the same purposes as I was talking about with my last backpack. Most, these are the only two backpack bags I own and I have considered getting a luxury one, but for what I use a backpack bag for, I want to be able to get it dirty, throw it around and not be concerned about it. And this one serves the purpose great, except for if we're going somewhere like castles and coasters. If you guys don't live in Arizona and don't know what Castle and Coasters is, it's a smaller amusement park here in Arizona. We actually live in the area of that. Um, and this with the non-zipper makes everything fall out. But for the most part, I love it and it works great. Okay, so next up I have this Kate Spade bag here. It has an adjustable strap. It's a beautiful floral pattern. I like to wear this one with dresses. It's a nice thin, bag here but it holds a ton inside you have one pocket there then the middle compartment is just a little it just opens and closes it doesn't have a zipper and then another compartment here i am willing to sell this one again for a very good price you will just need to pay for your own shipping and then um the bag Probably the best way for me um, with selling these bags is through Venmo. So let me know if you guys are interested in these bags. I really love this one. I think it's really, really cute. It's nice and thin and slim, but I just don't use it anymore. And I am definitely not a pack rat. I am the complete opposite of a pack rat. I throw away things I shouldn't. So, or get rid of or sell or whatever it may be. 
things that I shouldn't because I don't like clutter. So if you guys are interested, again, this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. It's by Kate Spade. It has Kate Spade right in. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. It's in gold. It says Kate Spade, New York, right, right here in gold. So it's very, very cute. Let me do a close up for you guys, and just in case you guys are interested. And then of course I can send you guys photos as well if you want. Very, very good price. Zipper is nice and smooth. Oh, as I say that I struggle. When it's full, it's nice and smooth. And then again, here's the inside, the other inside, and then the inside pocket. So let me show you guys the backpack real quick, a little close up just in case any of you guys are interested in that. Okay, so here is the Michael Kors backpack right here. A little close up for you guys. It says Michael Kors down there. I hate when people get too close to the camera, so I'm trying not to be too close. There you go. I'm gonna show you guys the corners. Look at the shine on that leather. I wish I loved this bag more than I do. I love the way it looks. I just, I don't know, something about it doesn't work for me. So here is one inside pocket there in the back. Then you have your bigger pocket, which I have trash in there. Receipts actually. Bigger pocket there and then bigger pocket there. So let me know if you guys are interested in these bags. Again, I will give you a very good price, way less than what I paid and you just need to pay for your shipping. Okay, so next up, this is another very, very loved bag of mine. Again, this is not any type of designer. I think I bought this at Target maybe even. And yes, it's a, the brand A New Day. It has a pocket here, bigger pocket here, zip pocket here. Um, I'll probably just give one, this to my daughter. I really, for some reason, I've been having a hard time biting the bullet on buying a luxury designer, what are these called? Camera bag, but I don't know why because this is one of the bags that started it all and it's QAF and I love it and I've used it to death and it's so pretty. I love the green color, I love the size, it has an adjustable strap, it's very casual, it's very me, and yet I haven't bought a luxury camera, camera bag. So I'm not sure what my deal is because I love it so much that why wouldn't I? And I still get use out of this one. I don't wear it a ton. But again, when I go to amusement parks and stuff, I don't want to wear my luxury bag. So I use something like this and it works perfect. And I think it is just as cute and just as beautiful as any luxury bag out there. Guys, I have saved my favorite one for last. As you can see, it's very, very tiny. It is Michael Kors. So you guys can see that on there. Um, this bag I love. And I think it's a bag that you guys would not predict that I have. It is very, very girly and feminine and it's just so beautiful and I love it. It's by Michael Kors and I like to wear this bag with my dresses, my summer dresses. Or if I am going to somebody's wedding, I like to wear this bag. It's got a beautiful silver chain. Another thing about me is I love silver hardware and I think all of my bags are gold hardware because that's what's popular, that's what's in style right now. But this one has silver, oh, I love it. Look at the detail on this. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, I love it. It says Michael Kors, and then it's a magnetic closure, so you just pop it open here. It doesn't fit a ton, but usually you don't need a ton when you're going out for a wedding or something. I do still have my care card in here and my receipt. There is a little slip pocket here and there's spots for your cards in here. So I like to just put my cards in there and use it that way because um, I like to carry my sunglasses. So my sunglasses can fit in here without a case. And then I slip my cards in the little card slot. Let's see if I can show you guys. Right here's the card slot. So I just slip my cards in there. And then there is a little hidden pocket right here. So I like to put a little mirror right here and then cash inside here too. Right here, it's just hidden. You can't even tell it's there. And then back here is another little hidden pocket. So I feel like it's just very functional. I love it to pieces. And then it does have a back pocket back here. It's so pretty. You guys don't sleep on Michael Kors. Michael Kors is gorgeous. 
So here it is on. It hits me at a perfect height cross body. I just love it guys, it's so pretty. I need to use this soon when I bring out my summer dresses again. And then it is a removable strap here so you can wear it just as a clutch. Maybe I should put this silver chain on another one of my bags. It does, the chain is very, very substantial. All right, there you go. So you can just carry it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this one. It's my favorite. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I don't like to spend a ton of money on bags that I only wear for special occasions. And I think that this one is just perfect for me for special occasions. Most of the time when I'm dressing up, I like to wear some more girly colors. I know in my everyday life, I like to wear like, you know, black and not even, I, I wear a lot of color, but I like to dress a little bit more edgy. But when I'm dressing up, I like to dress really girly and wear girly colors. So this bag works perfectly with most of my dresses. And I just, I can't say it enough. I really love this bag. It was probably my first bag that I ever bought for myself that cost more than $100. This was $200 on sale and I have zero regrets. I love it. Okay, so last but definitely not least, I have this Tory Birch bag. You guys have seen several videos on this or if you haven't, I will link them down below for you guys. I do have several videos on this bag, pros and cons and whatnot. I am considering selling this one, so if you guys are interested in it, please let me know. Um, Cost-wise, it's going to be higher up than the other ones because I still love this bag and I think it's beautiful. Of course, I will still give you a deal. I'm not going to, you know, upcharge you or anything like that or even anywhere near what it normally costs, but I am considering selling it. I just don't use it enough. And the reason why is when you spend two to three thousand dollars on a luxury bag you want to get your cost per wear down this bag i spent about 600 bucks on um so i don't grab it as much as my two to three thousand dollar bags now that is in no way saying i'm so bougie that's the only kind of bag i can wear no absolutely not but when you work hard for something and you save up your money for something you want to use it you want to get that wear out of it so that's why i don't use this one as much when i do use it i mainly use it in the summertime so if you guys are interested in my beautiful tory birch bag then let me know let me give you a close-up it's stunning it really is a beautiful bag and this is the first bag that i bought that i consider to be a designer bag let me show you you can wear it on your shoulder Fits very comfortably. You can wear it long shoulder and then cross body as well. So I will show you guys a quick little close up of this bag just in case you guys are interested. Again, you will just need to obviously pay for the bag and then you will need to pay for your own shipping based off of where you live. Here, look at the shine. I really do love this bag. It is such a beautiful bag. I just don't like things to just sit on my shelf and not get use out of them. So that is the only reason I would consider selling this bag. This one does have a little tiny nick right here. See that in the leather? I'm not sure, it's like a little bubble. And then open it up. It's beautiful on the inside. And then I, mine's stuffed with a bunch of stuff, but there's no stains or anything on the inside. There's no stains anywhere on it. There's no wear and tear really other than that one little tiny nick. The corners look great. Let's see. So if you guys are interested in this bag, let me know. Um, and I will consider letting go of this one if one of you guys feel like you can use it more than what I do. All right guys, so that is all of my contemporary designer bags and non-designer bags. Let me know if you guys are interested in purchasing one of those bags and um, I can ship it to you guys. But I saw a video on someone who, um, I just came across her, I don't even remember her name or anything like that, but she did a video where she tried 
things that you guys wanted to try. So like something you were eyeing. Let's say you had a dress that you were eyeing, but it was too expensive, so you never bought it. She had people link those items in her, her comments so that she can try them out. And I thought that was such a cool idea. So if you guys have specific things that you want me to try for whatever reason, you haven't purchased it or you love it and you have purchased it and you want me to try it out or you're curious about it or you're curious about a certain brand, link those down below. I need you guys to participate in this. I need enough links down below to actually create a video on. So please send me links. That way I can do this. I think it will be super, super fun and it will get me out of my bubble and I get to try some of your guys' favorites. So thank you guys for spending your time with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give my video a thumbs up and until next time, bye guys.